How pretty are all these bits of coloured glass? These, um, I'd say they'd be 1960s shot glasses. And they just look so pretty all together on this um, old tray. I suspect this is probably maybe 1930s, the tray. And that little tiny bit of green, you can see there, that's a little bit of sea glass I found this morning on the beach. I just love that colour green. And it felt like a little <clears throat> sign from the universe to say all is well with the world. Because I've just been thinking moments before, oh, I wonder if I'll find any sea glass today. And there it was. And I've picked some flowers out of my garden um, this is a familiar, this one, and this is a hybrid uh, verticordia crossed with a gelatin wax, and this has been flowering prolifically in my garden for probably the last month and a half, I'd say, and this is a, a little gelatin waxy thing so pretty that's just coming into full flower now and this is my Aromophila nivea which is a little bit worse for the wear in the garden it um, suffered a bit of drought at one point so it's not flowering as profusely as usual and this one is looking gorgeous in the front garden it's I'm not 100% sure this is West Australian, this one. It's some sort of Malaluca. It, yeah, looks very similar to what, what we had on our farm when I was a kid, which I found really magical, but it was definitely a different species, but very similar, and it channels that landscape. And here's um, one of my little paintings in the background of the local beach scene with all the limestone outcrops and there's a picture of my great grandparents and the little boy is my grandfather and this was a picnic at Como probably around 19 mm, early 1900s anyway sometime and another picture. This is um, the scene at Cervantes, everyone launching their boats one Easter weekend. These are just some little tiny paintings when I was doing my painting a day challenge some years back. I just love all this pretty stuff. It just makes you feel good.